everyone and welcome back to Carla Candles and Beauty, otherwise known as Cactus Blossom Lover on Instagram. So today's video I'm going to be talking about my small collection of candles. Now I am not bragging by any means, I have a very small modest collection uh, and I just want to talk to you guys about how I feel about them and some candles that I'm also expecting in the mail, you know, because of this whole shipping delay fiasco. Uh, I've been having to wait a lot longer for my normal shipment of candles. I've been waiting and waiting. I think it's been like over a month. All my spring candles are just waiting in limbo and I don't know when I'm going to get them. But just know that when I do get them, you're going to get another video from me. For now, I'm going to share with you my current candle collection, what I have, and some of my empties as well. So if you want to know what I have, keep on watching. So a majority of my candles are Christmas and some fall because that's my favorite season to burn candles. So in the summer, I usually like to use my wallflowers, my wax melts, my room sprays, anything other than burning candles. But I, I do burn some every now and then when I'm feeling like I need to burn a candle. So I'll show you what I have for my spring as well. So let's just jump right into it. The first one is Twisted Peppermint. I love this candle. So Twisted Peppermint is cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, and a hint of musk. I love this candle. It's such a good feeling, good smelling candle. Um, I have it in the body care as well. I think at first I wasn't intrigued by it because I don't like peppermint smells that much. I like peppermint tea, but I, I'm not like a big peppermint fan, like to burn it in a candle. So I wasn't immediately drawn to it, but during SAS, I saw that it was like still 1050 and it was one of those candles that was lingering around on the website. So I ended up picking it up and I don't regret it. I really like it. So a small story with that is that I had the Land of Sweets hand sanitizers, that little five pack that they had. And when I smelled Twisted Peppermint, I couldn't stop smelling my hand. I thought it was a, like the best smelling hand sanitizer I'd ever smelled. And I was like, I need to get this in the body care and the candle, the deep cleansing hand soap as well. So I really, really enjoyed that candle and I recommend it. Next one is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. So this one is Gooey Caramel, Grated Cinnamon, Vanilla Bean, and Maple Brown Sugar. This one is divine, guys. I am a foodie. I love bakery scents. I love anything that has cinnamon, bakery, sugar, anything. I love it. It definitely smells like a Cinnabon in, in candle form. Oh, I can't stop. <laughs> you can burn this during Christmas. You can burn this during the fall. You can burn this anytime, really, spring. It doesn't matter. I love this candle. I highly recommend it if you're gonna get it during candle day. So I really like it. Next up is Merry Cookie. Merry Cookie is fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, rich vanilla. Oh my god, this this one smells more Christmas to me than the previous one because this one just smells like sugar cookies with the frosting on it and the sprinkles. It just smells like Christmas. I don't know what it is. There's like this lingering scent. I want to say like pepperminty. I don't know. It's I'm weird. I know. But it just smells like Christmas to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's like a hidden scent in there that is not on the label that I don't know about, but it smells really good. Next up is Fresh Balsam. I love this with the frosted jar. It's so cute and the holographic sticker and this is really classy. I really like this one. Now this candle also reminds me of Black Friday 2010 because I went to Walmart one time and they had these huge green candles and they were Christmas tree scented and it just reminds me of that candle that I bought back like 10 years ago and that was before Bath and Body Works. That candle takes me back to that time and I had a good time in 2010 so I really enjoyed burning that. Next is Santa's Workshop. So Santa's Workshop is warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk with essential oils. Mmm, this one just smells like a creamy cookie. Like, it's so delicious. It does fill my house up, like, as if I'm baking cookies. So I really enjoy this one. And this is part of the Land of Sweets. It's a repackage. I know 
Bath and Body Works likes to repackage this one every year. But this year, oh my god, with the dollop lid, it's so cute. I couldn't say no. I really like this one. I just, I love it. It's a commemorative lid and it's going in the collection. Next is Elf Village. Again, a land of sweets. Mmm, this one smells so good. It's crushed candy cane is crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf with essential oils. Oh my gosh, it smells just like the candy. It smells so good. It's a little light when you light it, but it smells perfectly. It just makes your whole house smell like Christmas time and it's so good. I love it. So the next one is maple cinnamon pancakes. It is warm maple syrup, fluffy buttermilk pancakes, fresh ground cinnamon. This one was one of my first ones from Bath and Body Works and it smells delicious just like pancakes. This is one of my empties actually and what I do is I store my tea lights for when I use my wax melts. So that one is maple cinnamon pancakes. Next up is spiced gingerbread. The notes on this one is vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg with essential oils. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So this candle was one of the main reasons why I wanted candles from Bath and Body Works. I really enjoy this candle so much. I like to light this one during Christmas time and I've had I've lit this one pretty good. Um, so I'd like to share another one with you. Paris Cafe. So Paris Cafe is rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, vanilla creme. So, oh my goodness. This is one of the strongest candles that I have. Mm, but this one is so good. It just, it reminds me of being in a cafe and me living in France. I don't live in Paris. I live in Marseille. But I do remember going to Paris and just smelling everything and they have so many bakeries, so many boulangeries, which is like a bakery shop where they sell baguettes. So there's some that just sell baguettes and then they have the little pastries on the side and then there's some that are actual cafes that sell pastries and then there's some really luxe, nice patisseries, the real legitimate like bakery shops that they sell just sweets that smell so good. And this one is a little mixture of all of them. This one just reminds me of being in Paris and having a coffee and having a brioche or pain au chocolat, something nice like that. Mm, pain au chocolat. I want one now. So I have another one. This is an empty from the Land of Sweets. It's Ski Lodge. This one is hot cocoa and cream. Does it still smell? A little bit. But this one was decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. I fell in love with hot cocoa and cream. This was the first hot cocoa and cream that I've owned from Bath and Body Works. And let me tell you, it smells just like hot cocoa and cream. It's not that disgusting artificial chocolate scents that I hate because I've had like some Yankee candles and I've had like some other candles that say they smell like chocolate or even just like artificial chocolate tasting candy or I don't know. This one really surprised me. I love the way Bath and Body Works does their chocolate scents. So when I got this one, I mostly got it for the packaging because I go to a ski lodge like every year with my husband and his company. And so I was like, oh, isn't that cute? The ski lodge with like everything. I would love to have this candle just to have it on display. And unbeknownst to me, I fell in love with this candle. This candle was super authentic to hot cocoa and cream. You can just smell the hot cocoa and it's like a cozy, warm. There's lots of vanilla in this. I know it must be that fresh steamed milk and those mini marshmallows. That is what makes this a good candle is those marshmallow scents. Because if it was just straight on chocolate, I don't think I would have liked it. So I have another one that I'd like to mention. So I have another one of those um, sweet shops or bakery ones. And this one is chocolate lava cake. Now this one, I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. So this one is scrumptious chocolate cake, gooey cocoa center, and powdered sugar dusting. So this one does smell like chocolate cake. Um, it can get a little artificial scent, a little artificial smelling for me personally, um, but I finished it and, and uh, I really enjoyed it for what it was, but I don't think I would repurchase this. It's just not for me. I'm not a big, huge chocolate scented candle fan. 
but I gave it a shot because I really liked hot cocoa and cream. So it's not bad. It's not terrible, but I mean, it wasn't one of my favorites, but I enjoyed it. So here's another candle champagne toast the champagne toast is bubbly champagne sparkling berries and sweet orange now this is one of my favorite candle scents i love champagne toast i have champagne toast candle form i have it hand sanitizer body care i have it in wallflowers i have it in what else everything pretty much <laughs> body care body spray bath i have everything in 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 champagne toast it's such a good scent it's a year long scent you can light this whenever i lit this one during valentine's day just for any reason and um i really enjoy it i love this packaging it's so cute with the, like all the little firecrackers i know that the fresh balsam came in in this kind of packaging too but i preferred the frosted jar uh, over that i have another champagne toast coming in the mail pretty soon so i i need a backup of this this one is, smells so good but if you light it for too long it turns really murky and kind of burnt smelling Ooh, it doesn't smell so good right now i left it on too long and it kind of like it smells burnt so i think what i'm going to do next time i burn this candle is let this part melt and then just dump it out and let this part melt yeah i think i'm going to do that it also happened to my uh chocolate lava I left it burning too long, I started smelling burnt, and then I just dumped it out and it got better. But I think that's why I didn't like chocolate lava cake so much, is because it, I left it on too long and started smelling like burnt cake, and I didn't like that. Next up is Sweater Weather, a classic. So Bath & Body Works comes out with this one every year, and it's just great. So this one is Fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, Aromatic Eucalyptus, and Fresh Woods. Oh, this one is so good. This one's a really strong candle. I mean, when I first lit this one, I had to open a window. It was so strong. It smells like a little bit like a cologne, but it's perfect on rainy days or just dreary weather. And this one just makes you feel nice and cozy. It makes you feel like you're in the woods, really. I think that's why it's called sweater weather because you would wear a sweater out in the woods, right? So it has a lot of sage. Juniper berries, eucalyptus, fresh woods. Yeah, it's very woodsy. What would be an alternative name for this one? A walk in the woods. I don't know, something like that. Sweater weather. Next up is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So this one is warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. Oh my god, this candle is amazing. I love this one. You can smell the pumpkin, you can smell the cinnamon, and it's just pure pumpkin. This one comes out every year and for good reason. I'm not crazy about the label, but this is one of those throwback labels, like photography labels, just like the, the sweater weather one. I love it. I Every year during the fall, I make a pumpkin pie. And when I puree the pumpkin, this is what it smells like before it goes into the pie. Now, I don't have pumpkin pie, which I should have gotten as well, but it's missing the bakery aspect to, to this one. So the crust is missing, but I enjoy this one. I'm waiting for the fall to light it, only because I got it during candle day and it was after fall. I don't see myself burning this one outside of fall. I'm saving this one. So I have a couple more candles before I'm done sharing my collection. Now this one is Marshmallow Fireside. Look at this beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh. Like when you light it on the wall, it just comes out. All the little bubbles on the wall comes out. It smells so good too. Oh my gosh. Marshmallow Fireside, a classic, a staple. You have to have this one. This one is so good. Marshmallow Fireside is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. So this is one of the White Barn exclusives or the White Barn label. And yeah, it's really good. So this one is Praline Pecan. Praline Pecan is Southern Pecan, sparkling cinnamon, sugar, and warm caramel. So is it pecan or pecan? I don't know. But this one, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so strong. 
So this one is an oldie but goodie. It has that old, it has that ceramic lid. And uh, I actually purchased this one from someone because you can't find this one anymore. And it's from 2017, but it's still good. It's still as strong as ever. And every time I burn it, it just, it burns so clean, so nice. And it's strong. It fills the whole house up. And I love the wicks on this one. They don't mushroom up like the others. And it's perfect. I would repurchase this one in a heartbeat. Definitely, definitely. Next is Eucalyptus Mint. So this one is definitely, this is a white barn label as well. Oh my gosh, this one is good. This one is Fresh Eucalyptus, Sweet Spearmint, Lemon Peel, Clary Sage. This one is definitely an aromatic one. Mmm, it's very clean. I love to burn this one in the bathroom like when I'm taking a shower or when I, I need to feel like I need to have a spa day, this one is it. I love this one. This one is just perfect for just feeling good. Mm. So I also want to mention I have Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. I believe that this one is exactly just like this one. So this one's Eucalyptus Mint, Fresh Eucalyptus, Sweet Spearmint, Lemon Peel, and Clary Sage. And this one is Eucalyptus and Spearmint. So Maybe it has less oils, but to me, they smell very similar. I think this one has mint. Yeah, mint and lemon, which the other one doesn't, but they essentially give you the same results. Yeah, they both smell very re relaxing, and I can see myself using this when I want to relax, meditate, do something. Yeah. Let's get to one of my favorites. This is Cactus Blossom. This is the inspiration of my Instagram handle, Cactus Blossom Lover. And oh my gosh, can you say smellgasm? Oh my god, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. It's Cactus Flower Petal, Sun Kissed Coconut, Vanilla, Fresh Sparkling Lemon. Oh my gosh, I have this in the body care, the moisturizing body wash. The candle, it's just, oh my god, euphoric smelling. When I first smelled this candle, I had like an instant rush of euphoria. I, can, I can't explain it. When I first smelled the spray, I was just like, wow, it smelled so good. I seriously kid you not. That's exactly how I felt when I first smelled it. And I was hooked instantly. I was like, this is it. This is, this is what I've been looking for. This is my holy grail. This is why I love Bath & Body Works. Oh my god, I just, oh, this one is so good. I, I'm getting a backup of this as well, so it's coming in the mail. But yeah, I really enjoy that one. And I think what it is, because I'm not a lemon fan, and I'm not a coconut fan. I'm not big fans of those separately on their own. But I don't know, together with the flower petals of a cactus and the vanilla, it's just magic I don't know what it is it's just magic to me it just oh my god I this is a perfect candle this is the perfect candle to burn during the springtime during the summertime I love this one I, this is a hoard worthy candle for me personally obviously <laughs> because I just I can't live without this candle I need this candle it's close it kind of reminds me a little bit of eucalyptus mint Oof, but this one is way stronger. Obviously, it's that mint, but it has that green. Mm, this one just smells so much sweeter. This one is just so sweet. It just gives me the same calming effect, but like sweeter, more relaxing. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend Cactus Blossom times 100. I definitely get it. Now on to the next, The Queen strawberry pound cake this one was all the rage last year oh my god and i can see why this one is fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream yes mm, you can totally smell you can smell that whipped cream you can smell that golden shortcake mm, those strawberries oh my god just all mixed in i don't know why they didn't call it strawberry shortcake why is it called strawberry pound cake i don't know so this one is definitely a favorite of mine. I have in the body care, the body wash, body scrub, 
wallflower, everything. This is one of those hoard worthy candles that you need to have in your life. Get it. Next up is Be Mine. Look at this beautiful label. Oh my god. And all the little hearts are raised. They're very textured. I hunted this candle down. I knew it was a limited edition one. This one is Cotton Candy Sugar, Sparkling Raspberries, Sprinkle of Love from Cupid, whatever the hell that is. Oh my god, but it just smells so good. I don't know if it's cotton candy, but it does smell like a sugar. I don't know what Sprinkle of Love is. Maybe it's the candy hearts. I don't really know. Cotton candy sugar? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that, but it smells good. I, I like to light that during romantic times or girls night or whatever the case is. I don't have girls night anymore because I'm married, but you know, the essence of it. And last but not least is your girl, Japanese Cherry Blossom. Now this one was mm, such a fr fresh powdery scent and it's a classic. So this one is a fragrance that evokes the beauty of the exotic gardens of Japan with a graceful blend of pear, Japanese cherry blossom, and sandalwood. So this one is definitely a classic. And I just want to show you what I do with my empty candle jars that you might be interested in doing. So I store my wallflowers in here. It's such a good idea. And it fits approximately four or wallflowers and you can just stack them up or do whatever you want and that's what I do with my experiment stress relief one as well so cherry blossom was another good one it's a classic it just smells like cherry blossom it smells very powdery very floral so if you're not into that maybe it's not for you but I liked it so I might repurchase that in the future I don't know when but I will so that concludes my candle collection I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to comment rate subscribe and follow me on Instagram at cactus blossom lover so there you'll find a lot of pictures of all my candles, all my body care, um, some of my reviews. We can even communicate there as well. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!